Where am I? Welcome, Judy. <sighs> Who are you? We haven't much time. Allow me to order your first course. Hey everyone, have you seen some of these AI videos that are floating around online? Mm -hmm. Like the lip syncing, I'm seeing it more and more and it's getting insanely good. It really is. We're gonna jump into this topic today, so let me introduce our expert. Welcome to the show, this is gonna be fun. Thanks for having me, I'm excited to dive into this. Okay, so I saw this one video that just blew me away. The realism of the lip movements was just so on point. It made me wonder how in the world this is even possible. So I dug up some articles on this video and I think it'd be fun to kind of go through them together. Sounds good to me. Let's get into it. So, like I said, my mind was blown by this video and one article I found talks about how impressed they were with this AI. They said the lip syncing was astoundingly precise for the entire video and the video was almost five minutes long. Frank. I mean, four minutes and 56 seconds is pretty long for a video like this. That is impressive. It is really interesting to think about how this works. I mean, to create something like that, you would need some serious technology. Yeah. How and this article was kind of getting into that Wait, as well. It's not happened? just about matching the sounds to the visuals. Finished. Like, it's not just it's that simple. Right. Course. You have to go deeper. Like, you need to understand how human speech actually works. Like, all the tiny, subtle muscle movements. It's really complex when you think about it. Absolutely. The article actually pointed out that even the really fast-talking parts of the video were perfectly synced. So, it made me wonder, what do you think? How is the AI managing to be so precise for all those really complex sections. Well, there are a couple of possibilities. I mean, one that comes to mind is motion capture. Oh yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, so basically they would record real actors making these movements, you know, speaking, and then all Did that data gets fed course? into the AI to train it. That's really yes. cool. So they, they're kind of mimicking human was, movements. Yeah. Is there any other Very way they silly. could do it? Yeah, there's, there's another method they left. might be using, which is called a JAN, Generative Adversarial Network. Whoa. You can. You just that don't remember it. intense. Yeah. So with Jans, it's kind of like two AIs are competing. One is trying to create realistic output, in this case, the video and the lip movements. And the other AI is trying to spot the fakes. And by competing with each other, they get better and better until Wait. the output is super realistic. Some, something's That's wild. Not right. I can't imagine how powerful that technology something's must wrong. be. It's pretty amazing. And this article no. talks about how no. realistic these videos are. They mentioned all the little this. details, the eyebrow Stop. raises and eye blinks, even those tiny, almost imperceptible muscle movements. Why would you, you know, give like the this tiny twitches and stuff. All of that so adds sorry. to the realism. Perhaps what do you think about that? I think it's incredible. I mean, it really is the tiny details that make all the tea. difference makes the virtual person feel so much more human. You say yeah. that every time you come here. I mean, think about how we communicate as humans. So much of it is nonverbal. It's all those subtle cues that make us believe what we are seeing. So to see Hello, this AI you. capturing those things, those micro expressions, <laughs> it really shows how far they've come. This article actually said it's so good that it's okay. easy to forget you're even watching it's a virtual so creation. I mean, this is insane, yeah, right? right? Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> this makes me think, I mean, with this level of realism, what implications could this have, like for the future of film, or even video games, or online education? It's really exciting to think about the possibilities. Imagine a future where you can't even tell if the actors in a movie are real or AI generated. Or you could have a virtual instructor teaching you online who looks and sounds completely human. It could revolutionize all sorts of industries. That's kind of a mind-blowing thought. I think anyone okay. who's even remotely interested in AI should really check out this video. I agree. This article was spot on in calling it one of the most impressive examples of this technology out there. Oh, yes. Really impressive. I'm curious, with this level of realism, what ethical considerations do we need to be thinking about as AI becomes more and more sophisticated? Hmm. That is a great question and one I think we'll be discussing more and more in the future. So much to think about. Thanks for coming on the show, and thanks everyone for listening to our deep dive on this amazing technology. Thanks for having me. It was a great conversation. I'm so glad you could make it. Until next time.